Fuck home on the road to 2500. New day. Let's see if we can play a bit better than the last few days. And yeah, we're going into the Slav exchange. Very common opening. And we're all developing our pieces. My opponent brings a bishop to f4. That is a bit slow. But let's go here. Probably e3. And let's see. I'll bring the bishop. I could either go here or here. But let's go here. Could go here. The queen goes here. Then I always have this move. Let's go here. And trade off the bishops. Let's see if he's open for it. The f4 bishop is stronger at the moment. But I'm challenging the bishop. Goes there. Opening up this diagonal as well. And could either retreat, but I think I'll just simply take it. And after takes back, I think I will bring my rook into the game here. I could also take, but then likely takes. And a four. Maybe I can have some pressure with queen to b6 in the end. But... I like to go here, so I can take back with my rook in case my opponent takes, and let's just castle. Okay, it goes for the double up of the rooks. I could go here, not sure what it actually does. Mm. So I'm thinking about takes. So you can't take like this, because then I will win back the pawn. Here, takes a four, maybe queen here. Getting some pressure, maybe f6 at some point. Not sure if that's better. Could also go here. Could also retreat. But then this opens up. Mm, not sure, I could go here. And maybe ask him where he's going. Could also double up myself. But this is a move at some point. Um, okay, I need to make a decision. Uh, let's take. I was about to take with the knight, but then you take back with the pawn. Because I thought this line with queen b6 and maybe then d4 could be interesting. But maybe then, hmm, I'm not sure. But let's go for it. Then let's see where we end up. And then I thought queen b6 and then maybe the move d4 at some point. That's what I had in mind here. To get some pressure going here. He goes there. That's a fine move. And maybe here. What about this move? Maybe he has moves like this. But then takes, takes, takes. Takes. That wins material, I believe. But then this is still an issue. Maybe queen takes. Could also go here, but then here. Hmm. What about this move? I think this looks like a nice move. Because of this, and I could even just simply take here. And I'm also threatening to take here, which is not so easy to spot. Yeah, but I thought this wasn't working. Because I take. He goes for the check. Sure. 
Ah, that is working eventually. So he wins a pawn with this. But the question is, where does his knight go to? But he has this move. So let's see if I can make use of this situation. Maybe here. What about this move? Then the knight maybe goes here. So I need a more active move. Then the knight escapes. Could also go here. Let's go here. Then he likely goes here. Maybe f6 is a move at some point. Thought f6 to activate my knight. But it also weakens the e6 square, but let's go for it. Whatever. Let's go here and here. It goes there. Taking the knight. But isn't this a good check for me? I think so. Check. Maybe there was a probably this was a better move though. And then taking. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, then I can take here. And then falls apart for him. So I take. Let's take, take. There's a pin. Could take with the rook, but let's take like this. To make sure I have a healthy pawn structure. Okay, you would like to get active, of course. I also need to get active. Maybe this is a nice move. We would like to go after these pawns. And my king is a bit underdeveloped. So I need to do something about that. He for sure is a bit more active than I am. Let's go here. Maybe I can get my knight here and here. That was my plan, yeah, that's what I thought. Although I'm not sure if it's so good. Let's go here next. And my knight now can defend as well. Okay, I think this is a good move. Could give a check to protect his pawn. King forward. Check. 
check, check. Hmm. Let's go here. Here, here. Could go after this pawn. This is not a move, right? Because of check. And as, so, as soon as I can get these pawns to move, it looks good for me. Good two minutes. Let's go here. That is a nice move, but let's go here. Let's go here. I would like to go here as well. Okay, let's take. Okay. Let's take it. Let's bring the king into the game. Okay, 43 seconds. Let's get this going. This is easily winning. Promote and off squares. Let's go check. Let's get a tempo. Bring the king in. Check. Eleven seconds. Checkmate. Good game. Good game. Twenty eighty two. We're getting there. And let's check out the review. I played a reasonable game, but I had a big move there, yeah, and I knew what the big move was. I should have spent a bit more time there because I saw it, but I didn't play it. That's a bit unfortunate. This opening, quite standard, guys. Pawn in the center, develop your pieces. Both of the players are doing well here. Just develop. It's important not move a single piece twice in the opening like none of this is doing at the moment. Just developing moves. And here, yeah, sure, you can play this. Then there's some trades of the light squared bishops. Bring the rook. Fine move. And after castling, this is indeed a good move. Don't take like this, guys. Why not? Because then, of course, you won't take back like this, but like this. And this is a fork. You will lose a piece. Instead... I took, went here with the knight. I remember that the computer thinks that this is a good continuation for me. Uh, queen b6 and here, rook to c4. 
and this was not the right move. I'm not sure why I didn't even take. Why didn't I even take? Because I was too hung up with this. But then check. Yeah, because uh, if I take, that's the thing. If I take, then my rook is defended. These moves I need to spend a bit more time because this is very obvious. But okay. A nice find for my opponent to give the check. Winning a pawn, basically. And queen to b5, not the right approach to b4, I should say, as the better approach would be to go here, queen to d8. And, ah, okay, because then this is not working, because then the rook is also covered, right? Because that was the problem, is that yeah, I could go like this, but then the rook will likely go here, and if takes, takes, then the knight escapes, but even better would be to go knight c8 right away mm, and after here why doesn't this work because of f6 mm, and then you go here i can't take but i will simply win back the pawn at that point so okay after a move like this simply go here takes takes and here the pawn still hangs this pawn also hangs but now my knight is way more centralized so that's good for me so i have some compensation um, instead, I went to b4 with the queen, and here I think I had a better move than the check. What about this move? Ah, then there's queen c3. Yeah, queen c3. And after takes, takes, then now there's b4. And there's a spin on the rook, right? So that's why it didn't work. Um, so in the end, I played the right move. So my mistake was earlier on with not taking the knight with the pawn but this was good for me and now i win another pawn and this is still an equal end game i played it quite actively except for this move it was not right i had to go maybe h5 yeah i was doubting which pawn to play but okay because now cause this was a nice move nice find I, you know i can't take it because there's a check and now you think okay but now the Knight can blockade, that's true. But there's another checkmate in one, guys. Checkmate. So that's what I saw, and that's why I couldn't take. I bring in the king, which was a bit too late. I should have gone to d5 here, attacking both. And then after rook c4. Then maybe I can take here. Well, I'll give a check first. King goes forward. h6, going for this. Hmm, what about this move? Knight to c3. And if you take here, then I go walking. And you cannot defend in time. Hmm, interesting. Well, that's not easy to spot. It's not easy to spot, guys. Um, takes, takes. And here, was there a better continuation for me? No, I simply had to take. Um, yeah, and here my opponent basically overlooked the fork. And yeah, this is simply winning. Get the pass palm. And yeah, the rest is history. Now I can simply uh, gobble up the pawn. If the king goes here, for example, then I can go here. And the king can go forward. If it goes here, then I have a check. And I have a tempo. So that's winning for me. And if the king goes here, then I can simply go here. The king is now forced to go here. There is a move like this, but then I can also give a check and promote. So... This is completely winning, and my opponent instead decided to move this pawn. But then, you know, with little time the clock, I went to cobble up this pawn. Um, my opponent tried to surprise me, but that didn't work. And I checkmated him. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we're nearing the 2100. Bye-bye.